All right, so we've got this uh, Mulloway Jewfish that we caught last night on the break wall. So we're just going to have a go filleting it and show you how it's done. Got the 9 inch Kershaw filleting knife here. Going for a bigger fish, so you've got more reach, wider. Um, yeah, I'll show you how it's done. So first, you get the fish's head, back top of the head pointing towards your belly. Start up here, cut behind the head, down behind the shoulder, and then back behind the wings there. Free the fillet up. Get down until you can feel the bone on the bottom there. Then, cut down in the tail here, and then start, follow your knife. See how the fish is sliding a bit? Sometimes that might be because there's a lot of slime on the fish. So what you can do if you're having that problem is just give it another wipe down. So we start slicing along from the tail all the way along and just follow that spine there. All the way along to the shoulder. Once you've gotten through the scales, it's going to make it easier then to just work your knife along that spine. Just make sure that you're on the right side of the spine. Sometimes you might cut underneath it, so you just need to make sure that you're up there. You can just feel with your thumb afterwards to make sure you're there. And just keep following your knife along and working your meat away from the bone. Just take your time, get it all loose. You see with Jewies, you have this dorsal part of the bone and then you have a second layer of bones and they often can stick up, you see like there, and often your knife can end up underneath them and then you're not doing a proper fillet so you just need to always make sure that you're above above those knife, above those uh, bones there. So we've just gotten, we've gotten above those, those bones, see there, there's another bone there, so you're getting on that side of the fillet. Just work your knife all the way along and free up that side till you can see that you're to the middle the middle bone so we've gone all the way along and we're to the middle bone all the way along there so then we can turn the fish around start on this end too cut up free the skin away sometimes it's hard to get it done with the, with the scales when you might um, scale your fish to make it a little bit easier. We can cut that belly bit, bit so we can loosen that up. Once we've done that, you can loosen up this fillet by sticking a knife through and just Slashing that away, free it up a little bit more there. Then to make it easier to grab your fillet, just poke a little hole in the top there, the tip of your knife, enough so that you can fit your finger in there. A little bit more. So my finger goes through so I can hold onto it like that. And then I can just free the fillet up. As I'm pulling up, I'm just cutting very, very loosely against the meat. And get here, lift this back up, loosen that up a bit more so you can see where the rib cage is. Pick it up and just with the back end of your knife, just cut that direction. Or another way, it might be a bit easier with a big fish like this. Get your finger there, hold the tail and slip and rip straight off. Alright, so just free the back tail up, get through those scales, work at the tip of our knife, the top end of our knife, you just work along the, make an incision along the top there again, like we did before. You just sort of want to make an incision first with the scales, try and get as close as you can to the, to the spine. All the way to the shoulder, then loosen this up again. Cut behind the, the head there, 
Put your knife in, keep your hand away, and just slice up that direction. Bring that up. And you just want to loosen that up. The trick here is just to keep your knife really flat, flat to the bench, flat to the bone. Spin it up, spin it around. Probably do this side first, really. I start on that side, but it doesn't matter. Throw this side up again. Bladder. Chinese love it. They put it in the soup and you can deep fry it and it puffs up like a chip. You want to just turn that rib cage out, get in there, in that angle, as shallow as you can go. In there. This belly part on a dewy is quite firm. It's quite tough. It's good on barbecue, on a barbecue plate, but when you cook it up, it can be quite firm in that side, on the belly there. Just make sure you get all those ribcage bones out. Then the middle bones, just cut on this side. And then the bones go on an angle. Damn. On an angle in there. And then on the other side. That's if you were doing a skin on fillet. You could do that. Remove the bone. There's no bones in there. Like that. These we're going to be skinning. So it doesn't really matter. You can do it afterwards. Or do you want it from above? That's right. Just shave that out as close as you can. Skin the fish. You make that incision that you made to hold onto the fillet as you're skinning. Just kind of work your way as close to the skin as you can.
filmed this one. Yeah. So we've got the jewelry head here. We'll show you how to take the jewels out of the middle of the head, the autolith. And also you can utilize the wings. So first you want to free the gills up underneath there. And then separate the gills from the wings on the other side. Make sure that's separated. True. So get the knife in here and just slice that direction. Slice that in half. Pull those wings out. So that's great for the, on the barbecue plate. Or you, you can remove the skin, peel the skin off, or scale it in the salt and pepper in the deep fried or on the shallow fried, or roasted or anything. Lots of nice meat in there. So now you want to pull these gills off. You can cut that back, cut that off, the skills off. In here, once you remove the gills, you see the yellow part, the top of their mouth, and then just behind that is this cavity. This is what contains the jewels. So you've just got to get a knife and try and penetrate that little cavity there, but softly, like you don't want to, you don't want to uh, chop the actual jewels in half if you put too much pressure, and just try and make a little bit of a, a hole there. Sometimes. Um, like a, a fat, big, fat knife's good. Like even like a machete or something, or something really big and fat and strong. You can open it. This Kershaw knife, bigger knife's doing the trick. Just be really careful not to cut yourself as you're doing it. And then you simply just get your knife or some other tool, and you can sort of poke them out, pry them out. So there we've got them, two jewels. Obviously, as, you, as the jewelry gets bigger, these get bigger. So with a knife, or you, know, you can even use a bandsaw or something, but you can do it with a knife, with, just be really careful not to cut yourself. You can cut the fish's head in half, sort of, but without, without using the bandsaw, you can get it so it's still attached. Kind of like a butterfly head. Flip it over. There's a lot to eat in there, in the cheeks. <laughs> you scale that up. I mean, give it a go if you're ready for something different. On the barbecue, it's beautiful. Lots of different fish have a lot of meat in their heads, so something different. You can make more use of your cash. <laughs>